Welcome to Pot Apostle. Help us build the kingdom of God. Like, subscribe, and share. So today is the feast of the, uh, the guardian angels. And it's a little, it's, you know, the way the church lectionary works, like we're, we're, we kept reading Job. We're reading Job, but the gospel was chosen for the feast day. And so, uh, so, uh, and so there's, there is this, there's kind of a, I don't know, two different things happening in the readings. But Job, and then at the same time, not. If you listen to what Job was saying, Job was essentially saying to his friends, God knows better than me. I mean, if you could sum up that whole thing, I, God made the stars. He made the Pleiades. He made the Orion. He makes the sunrise. He, he's got something over me and I'm going to entrust God. I, I, you know, I don't get it. I, and he's very clear about the fact that he does not understand what's happening. His sufferings, his difficulties, his trials. But then he is going to, this is, this is why Job is a model of our faith. This is why we talk about the patience of Job. Because he is going to, he is going to ultimately turn his Jesus, I trust in you. He doesn't say, Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus hasn't been revealed yet. But he does say is, I know my Redeemer lives. He knows that, and that is kind of a prophecy, you know, that Job speaks. And so I want to talk, of course, about the, the angels for, for a moment. You know, we say in the creed, in what is seen and unseen, right? We believe in the things that are visible and invisible, the things that can't be seen. And when I think about what is seen, you know, what, when we think of our, our, our eyes, our, our primary sense of de detecting thing, and, and obviously, uh, you know, that's the first thing we think of when you say something that is seen or unseen. But it's something that, you know, that we can measure, that we can, that we can weigh, that we can hear, that are we detect by our senses. The angels, seen and unseen, we don't see them, do we? Don't we? You know, and maybe you think, well, I heard by angel, or I saw by angel. And some people, I've heard, had people that I think are sane, that have all their faculties, have said to me that they have seen or heard from their angels. And we all kind of had that experience of that little voice that, that guides us. I hope you've all had that experience in some way or another. You know, you think about what is, what's the point of our guardian angel? I like this. I remember telling this to somebody. It's, it's not, our guardian angel is not to keep us from stubbing our toe or even getting in that car accident. Our guardian angel is to guard us from the evil one, to try to, to try to funnel us, if you will, in the right direction. It's a messenger of God. I, I, I think about, and I know I say this, I've said this a number of times, but it bears repeating. You know, why did God send Gabriel to Mary? Couldn't he have gone himself? Couldn't God have just, well, God created the order of, of reality and he, he created the angels as messengers and, and servants of his, that they would share his glory. And, and this is what we believe. We believe in that which is seen and unseen. The church has this wonderful little Latin saying, Lex orande, lex creandi. As we pray, so we believe. Why are we celebrating the feast of the angels? Because we believe in the angels. And the church is holding that belief before all of us today. Well, God created the angels. And, you know, I don't, I don't want to make, be negative, but at the same time, some of the angels said, I will not serve. And, and the other angels, 
and our guardian angels among them, send me, I will serve. And so our angels are entrusted to us. And we, today, we acknowledge the angels. Today, we believe in the angels. Today, we know that by our faith, we know that the angels are ready to guide us if we are but attentive to God's hand. Isn't it God guiding us? Yes, but he uses the angels that they would share in his glory, just as we have that great privilege to anticipate and even anticipate by living it now, sharing in his glory.